some non-traditional aspects to tonight's debate. First, this is happening very, very early in an election year, and the ground rules are a little unusual. This is where it's happening tonight. This historic showdown between President Biden and former President Donald Trump coming in Atlanta, less than five months out from Election Day. And while Trump has been out on the campaign trail, Biden has been out of sight for days, preparing through mock debates at Camp David. This is Joe Biden preparing for an entire week for 90 minutes. So this could be the very best he's ever going to be. The two squared off back in 2020, drawing more than 73 million viewers. Will you Who shut is up, man? This time there are some changes, including new rules and a new format. There will be no studio audience and microphones will be muted while the other candidate is speaking. And neither candidate is permitted to bring any pre-written notes. There's going to be a debate about the issues. The issues are going to be on the table. But everybody at this table and everyone watching tonight is going to be watching to see, does Joe Biden stumble? Despite their differences on immigration, abortion, the war in Gaza and more, both have drawn criticism over their ages. Trump, 78. Biden, 81. The latest Fox News poll showing the race is still a virtual tie. 50 percent favoring Biden, 48 percent for Trump. Now, there will not be opening statements from either candidate. There will be closing statements, though, and by virtue of a coin flip, Trump will get to speak last. In Atlanta, Doug Lusader, Fox News.